Metrics using the unit fraction method. We're going to do out the same problems that were on the shortcut method video clip, except now we're going to use unit fractions instead. And we're really just going to look at the three most important ones, the kilo, centi, and milli conversions. Um, you can do it with meters, liters, or grams. So up here for the fractions, I just have meters in there, but just replace the M by L or G when you're using the other units. One kilometer is exactly the same as a thousand meters, so this fraction equals one. A hundred centimeters is the same as one meter, so that fraction equals one. A thousand millimeters equals one meter, so this fraction equals one. So the idea here is we're going to take the unit that we're given, so for example, seven meters, and we want to convert to centimeters. Well, we're going to multiply by one. That means we're not changing the value of what we have and multiplying by one we want to take the unit fraction that's going to make the meters cancel out so the meters has to go in the denominator and it's going to leave us with the one we want centimeter centimeter has to go in the numerator in order to get that as our leftover unit so look we look up top for the conversion well there's a hundred centimeters per meter alright we're really multiplying by one so it's okay to do that meters cancel 7 times 100, 700 centimeters. And we have our answer. Skill builder number 13. We have 15 liters and we want to go to milliliters. So we write down what you have, what you're starting with, times a fraction that makes liters cancel and leaves us with milliliter on top. There are 1,000 milliliters in every one liter because a milli milliliter is smaller than a liter it takes more of it to equal one liter so that's the unit fraction that we want to use there liters cancel leaving us milliliter 15 times a thousand 15,000 milliliter and the last one skill builder number 20 we have 30 milligrams or 30,000 milligrams and we're going to multiply by one again and the unit fraction to build the one this time we'll need milligram on the bottom because we want it to cancel out gram on top because that's what we want left over milligram is smaller than a gram by a thousand times we need a thousand milligrams for one gram and that's going to make the milligram cancel leaving us with a gram and if we divide thirty thousand by a thousand we get thirty grams so to use this method, you pretty much have to know these fractions right here. And sometimes you're going to have to flip them and use the meter on top, kil kilometer on the bottom, or meter on top, centimeter on the bottom. Sometimes you use them in the format you see them here. The key is always put the unit that you want left over in the numerator and make sure the unit you want to cancel goes in the denominator.